Welcome back as uh, we work to connect with each other and with Jesus. Well, today you can see we're in my living room and I've got Roy over here. He's going to help me. Say hi, Roy. Hi. Hi. So we have made paper airplanes today. And part of what we're going to be talking about is how Jesus calls us to thrive, whatever the circumstances. Because sometimes we blame our circumstances for what we're going through. Now, in the ancient world, when Jesus was living, they viewed the weather and storms as representatives of chaos because they were things that you couldn't predict, things that you couldn't control. Now, to say we can predict the weather today is a little bit of a stretch, but we can clearly predict the weather a lot better than they used to be able to. We have different technology and systems in place, but we also have better technology that helps us overcome when weather happens. Because in the ancient world, the best that they could hope to do was to harness the power of the weather. Now, weather has tremendous power. You know, the wind can power and move these large ships that they call sail ships that carry cargo and people across the oceans. So we built all these airplanes, and uh, Roy is going to help me uh, when he comes back. Roy, you coming back? And uh, he's busy at the moment, apparently. But we are going to uh, fly these airplanes. We built several of these airplanes. Because in Luke chapter 8, Jesus and the disciples are on the Sea of Galilee in a boat. And Jesus has fallen asleep. And a great storm comes across and threatens to overwhelm the boat. Well, the disciples, several of them were fishermen and were used to navigating the uh, sea of Galilee. And so these storms that pop up are common on the Sea of Galilee. So they were used to navigating them. And hey, one second, bud. And, and, and so the storm comes up and they begin to panic. And so they go and they wake Jesus up. And Jesus wakes up and he says, where's your faith? And he goes and then he calms the storm. And the disciples are kind of like, what is going on? So, so Roy and I have these paper airplanes, and you can see we have different types of airplanes. So Roy's going to throw that orange one. So let's, so hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to kind of do this right. You need to hold it right here and throw it. Whoa, right into the couch. All right, so throw that one. Woo, oh man. All right, hold it right here and throw that one. Oh, man. Throw that one. Oh, nice. That one went across the living room. Yeah, let's see this way. Oh, man. So we had five different airplanes, and you can see we have um, different styles and different types. I've got this one, and I've got this one. This one is probably your most basic paper airplane. Just a few folds, nothing too fancy about it. But I did find it interesting, this is one of the ones that flies the best. Now this one is the fanciest one that that we built. I'm I just you please. oh you're showing me the other three. Thanks, Roy. Uh, and I did a quick Google search on how to build airplanes, and this, like I said, is most the fanciest one. And when thrown well and right, this one is the one that that is the best and has the best results. Hey, Roy, uh, go throw them again, okay? Hey. Go throw them. So, so Roy's going to throw them again in the background. But one of the things I found is, is that the actual construction of the... Let's see it, Roy. The actual construction of the airplane is significant. You see, that one caught the wind and it went really far, but then it kind of came back. If the airplane is not symmetrical, then it doesn't fly well. It needs to be symmetrical in order for it to be successful. But as the disciples were on the boat and Jesus calms the storm... Jesus calms the storm and... You know, they're seasoned fishermen. This was not new to them. They were used to the Sea of Galilee, but they panicked. They were overwhelmed. Yeah, I know. Go throw it away. They were overwhelmed, but Jesus was there. And that's one of the, the, the truths, one of the blessings we have to remember. Jesus was present. Even though there was a storm, even though things weren't ideal, Jesus was present. So regardless if our situations are good, Regardless of our situations are difficult, Jesus is present, and so he calls us to thrive in that time. So wherever we're going, whatever we're doing, whatever is going on in life, we know that we can be successful, not because of who we are, not because of our gifts or our talents. We can thrive and succeed because of who Jesus is. Stay connected to each other and with Jesus. Take care. Hey, Daddy.